arms are a huge thing for us to be practicing in any one of our dance classes. In our jazz and hip hop classes, we will sometimes balance using our arms and we need them for all of our floor work. <laughs> when we are doing ballet, a lot of our body mannerisms and angles and positions that we do stem from our arms. So when we talk about them, this can be anything from our shoulder to our elbow to our wrist down through our hands and fingers. Tomorrow I will actually be discussing our hand placement and talking a bit further about our fingers, but for today I want to talk about our arms. Now I'm not going to go into full body anatomy here because we're focusing on the dance aspect of things, but I do want my dancers to be aware of our body mechanics. So we have our biceps, our triceps, and our forearm. This is important to know because for anybody who does hip hop, especially popping, you need to be able to isolate that tricep in order to contract and release for the movements we do for popping. When we are in jazz, we have a few different positions for our arms, in which case we have a long jazz arm and we have an inverted jazz arm. We also have our standard jazz hands, in which case your arms are lengthened out. Our arms are able to do circles. This is a huge one for anybody in class of me. We like to do these with our warm-ups to get our limbs all loosened up. We also have different V positions, so we can do a low V. This can go in front of us, and this can go into a high V. There's different softnesses that we can do throughout this. It does depend on what the choreography or instructor is asking for. In ballet, we use our arms for our port de bras. So port de bras is carriage of the arms. And later on, I actually will be breaking down what all the positions are, but we use our arms for our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And we need to know how to carry our arms as such. We also need our arms for things such as arm waves. Now there are different ways to do arm waves. So for those that, again to reference popping is a huge example that has a very discernible difference in how we pop and isolate our joints for that. But just a standard run of the mill type arm wave, you need to be able to isolate going through your fingers and nitpick each of those joints and you can press the arm wave from one side to the other. You can isolate so you do shoulders out to the fingers and you can do fingers into the shoulders. These can change levels so you can go down, you can go up, you can go front and back. There's a whole bunch of different options and with that you want to make sure that again you're understanding how each of the joints can move and the softness that we need in our elbows and how to isolate your triceps and biceps so that you can lift and roll it because it's all an illusion that we create with our arms and arm waving can be done for like i said hip hop we'll also sometimes use arm waving in some ballet moves so that they're really important to practice <laughs> Our arms can also be parallel. Anytime we talk about parallel, this is in relation to your body. So parallel can be down, your palms face in, and they can rise straight in front of you all the way on up. I hope this gives you a little bit better understanding of some of the mechanics that our arms can do and why they're of importance. Again, they're a big deal for all the stuff we do in class and when we're performing. I would venture a guess and say that our audience actually usually watches more of our arm and upper body movements than what we're really doing with our feet. Be sure to check back tomorrow as I break down some of our hand movements. I will see you then.